racist traders pay brutal price after forcing their own white QB to pay for slavery in foul way. The divisiveness within the National Football League knows no bounds as it's now crept in like a cancer and is destroying teams. To be a white player in some franchise is apparently a problem for other teammates who will gladly put their rhetoric before winning, as we're now seeing with the absolutely foul thing racist Oakland Raiders players did to their own quarterback. The problem with these protests infiltrating the league is that they are systematically destroying the sport and now individual teams, after what a shocking new report from the Armstrong and Getty radio show alleges. We've seen teams take a knee together to protests mostly our president after his comments approximately a week ago, but what happens when one white player in the group doesn't do it? The hosts reveal the result of a player taking a stand against taking a knee. Speculations that the former Army Ranger turned Steelers player who ran out of the locker room with his hand over his heart for the anthem faced a heaping dose of pressure from his team after being the lone hero for the patriotic cause. Some feel that this led to his apology the following day for disrespecting the Steelers, his coach, and franchise by going against the disrespectful directive he was given to avoid the national anthem. If this is the case, then what allegedly happened on the Raiders was worse when their quarterback stood for America rather than kneeling for race-based social justice cause. Unconfirmed reports are suggesting that it appears that the Raiders may have purposefully allowed their star quarterback to get sacked multiple times after he refused to kneel during the national anthem. The claim states that this was an intentional way to throw the game, which was a brutal price they were willing to pay to get their point across. If true, this would essentially mean that an NFL football game was illegally thrown over anger that one of the team's star white players did not believe that kneeling during the nation's anthem was the correct way to protest supposed racial injustice in America, InfoWars reports. In other words, an epic-level scandal. We reiterate, this claim has yet to be confirmed, which could take an investigation that the NFL probably doesn't want to get involved in and perpetuate their protesting problem. However, this assertion coincides with a known new trend in the league that one of the first protesters of the season has publicly advertised that he's doing to all white players after tackling them. Prissy Holly for Freedom Daily previously reported of this sickening new racist trend started by the Seahawks' Michael Bennett. Not satisfied with quietly sitting on the sideline while the national anthem plays, Bennett is now raising the black power salute every time he sacks a white player on the field a disgusting racist symbol that black supremacists have used for decades to display their supremacy over the white race. During the second quarter of the game against the 49ers over the weekend, Bennett celebrated tacking white quarterback Brian Hoyer by flashing the black power fist into the air. This gesture was a head nod to black supremacists around the country, where the all-black media confirmed Bennett's actions were a pro-black power gesture in the following tweet. The Raiders' offensive line kneeled for the anthem to make a point that they hoped would be impactful but Carr distracted from that message with his positive move of standing. Perhaps this didn't sit well with the protesting majority of the team and was important enough to them to put the star player in his place at the cost of a loss. This is one hell of a scandal with the NFL, could ruin the whole league, the hosts of Armstrong and Getty radio show claimed on the air. They backed up this assertion with pointing out that Carr was sacked two times in a row on the team's second drive and that the team's usually dependable center snapped the ball at the wrong time in three different instances, according to InfoWars. Extremely capable receivers also made multiple weird drops of passes thrown by Carr that TV announcers even noted at the time. Maybe it's just bad plays and being off-kilter with everything else distracting NFL players right now from being at the top of their game. Worst case scenario, it was racist players seeking vengeance for the star white player not kneeling. If so, that's really bad sportsmanship which is a bad attribute we've seen all season in the league. It's doubtful that the NFL will investigate to determine if there was any sinister motive to this bad series of plays. However, in a general sense, if the NFL wants to save their industry, they should stop the politics on the field.